Hey guys, I wanted to shoot this video um, in response to a thread that was in the group there at Uzine. And I want to, uh, first of all, give a shout out to Dean Hislop. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce your name, Dean, uh, but we'll just say Dean. Started the thread about how to create these sort of pictures with the, um, the image inside of the lettering, which I thought was really neat. I thought that was an excellent um, uh thread here and uh, I want to thank uh, what is this patrons perks okay uh, hopefully I'm saying your your name right uh, he explained how to do it here and as you can see it's really nice and clean so um, he has the explanation here of how to do it if you go to the, uh, the thread there in Uzine you can see um, what he says how how to do that but um, I thought it, uh, you know, ones were asking for a tutorial, um, so I thought I'd do one for everyone, uh, show you how I've been able to do it, and it's not that hard at all. So what you want to do, uh, I'm in the Usine dashboard now, you want to start with your text here, and um, I'm going to start, let's use the word you, okay, and going to make it large as possible here. Let's uh, center it. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. Doesn't have to be, I don't think, that big, but I like working with the bigger uh, text. And I'm going to leave the background transparent. Uh, in the thread, they suggested using a solid background um, that you want. And that's something you can obviously do as well if you if you want a certain color background or if you want white um, you can just leave it white but if you if you use the transparent background when you get finished it's going to be white anyway it just seemed in my mind I thought that it would be better to have it transparent when you're working on it I could be wrong but that's what I'm gonna do okay so let's go ahead and uh, download that so what you want to do is you want to create your word like I just did and you want to download just that word. I'm going to save that to my picture. Alright, once, you, once you've downloaded it, go ahead and erase it off your canvas. And you want to select the size you want to work with. Um, in this case, I'm going to work with, uh, let's say, 800 by 400. Okay? And whatever the picture is you want to work with we're going to create it so let's go with um, people see if we can find something that will look good in a picture in the words there uh, how about this we'll say people I don't even know if I'm spelling it right now. Large. Uh, no. I may not find it. So let's do this. Let's go with um Paradise. Let's find something here. How about this one? Okay. Nice and vibrant. Make it bigger. I'm gonna center it. We'll use this one, okay? And what you want to do now is you want to upload your file. Okay, I'm gonna find that file. It's called U. There it is. And it is uploading now. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, I think it's, uh, you know what, I'm going to make it even bigger. How about that? Make it even bigger. And I'm going to center it. There we go. Now, you want to be on the layer that of the text that you're working with. Then you want to click the Erase Background uh, uh, feature here, okay? There you go. Now you're going to work with this. Now, the first thing I will say you probably want to do is take the brush size to five pixels because it's uh, it's a smaller brush easier to work with 
and you want to increase your lettering as big as you can get it. So I'm gonna work right in here, okay? And the hand tool here lets you move the image around. Okay, so it's, because we're trying to cut out the black portion, it's, it's backwards as far as what you normally would do. You normally would be trying to cut out the background. In this case, you're trying to cut out the letters. So you're gonna use your red brush, okay? Your, I don't even know what this is called, but you're gonna use this, okay? The red one. And then you get, you know, as close as possible to your letters. Now, if you have a longer word, uh, it's gonna take more time to deal with the details, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, the end result is just really nice, okay? Certainly worth it. There we go. All right. So once you've outlined it, it doesn't have to be beautiful. Hit your hand tool and move on to your next letter. And you're just going to work one letter at a time. Okay. And while I'm working these letters, uh, I'll do this one. Now, okay, that's what you, and this is really ugly, but this is how we're gonna do it for now. I'm gonna pause the video while I do the the uh, rest of it, and then we'll come back. Okay, it didn't take none but a second to do that, but I wanna show you now that you've outlined your letters. I'll go ahead and uh, zoom it out so you can see it. Okay, so you got your letters outlined just like that, right? Let me zoom back in, okay. And all you want to do here is hit your green, use your green button, and you want to just click dots in various places, okay? Just dots. You don't have to, um, you know, outline or anything like that. Just hit your dots. And what it's going to do is going to start you with an initial um, background here. Let's uh, let's pull it out. So it's going to sh you're going to have an initial background, and as you can see. It's not as clean, it's not perfectly clean. So when you look on this side, you see what it what it looks like. So in these areas here where it's not perfectly clean, what you wanna do is hit your red, get your red marker there, and you wanna hit right there on the edge of the borders there, okay? Don't worry about it going outside of the borders. Just get as close to those borders as possible where you see discrepancies in the, uh, in the outline there. Okay, there we go. Now you wanna hit your green and you wanna go right on the outside of that, right close to that. And it snaps right into place. Just a little click, right? Nothing, you know, don't outline everything, just little clicks. You just leave a little dots there. And it, as you can see, it cleans it right up, it snaps right in place. Okay, and if you don't have a, there we go. If you don't have a red dot on the inside, it will go beyond what you want it to. So you just want to make sure, like right here, um, I'm going to put a little red dot right on the other side of this discrepancy. Then I'm going to choose the green dot, click it. Oh, I missed it. So let's go back and let's do it again. Right there. Boom. So as you can see, the U is really clean now. Okay. Nice and clean. Now, Get your hand tool and move to your next letter. Make sure it's clean. So I wanna put a green dot inside of the white area there to make sure it's clean and make sure it's how it's supposed to be. And here, there's a discrepancy. So I wanna click there. Then I'm gonna click the green. Get it to snap in place. I'm gonna click the red here where there's a discrepancy. Click the green right on the outside of that. Oh, yeah. moved around it. Let's click it again. There, snap right in place. See another one here. And snap it right in place. Now the U is pretty clean. Now let's go to the Y. And the Y is almost good enough to go, but I see a few discrepancies. So let's go ahead and take care of that. There's one there. Okay, and let's get right inside there. There we go. 
as you can see it's nice and clean now and there's one right here on the edge here on the bottom okay now let's get right on the other side of that and there okay i think it's good to go for me um don't get to use your hand tool and as you can see it's nice and clean now so let's go ahead and click done and when it's rendered boom. so as you can see there it's a nice and clean um, picture that you can use here now so that's how you would um, use Uzine to create this effect hopefully this video helped you to do that of course if you have a longer word it's going to be a little more uh, to do but you just do exactly what I said don't make it over complicated and you can create this type of effect too using Uzine. This is D Bell and I'll talk to you soon.